Welcome back. Welcome back. It is 524 when COVID-19 became a public health emergency this past spring. It caused widespread problems for supply chains that moved food from manufacturers to your local grocery store. Ed Riley from our sister station in Buffalo takes a look this morning at the impact on stores and how you can get the best products available. I, I don't think the, the, the consumer is going to know when they walk in the supermarket what's short or what's not short because there are so many things that are disrupted right now. Six months into the COVID-19 public health emergency, and empty store shelves are something all shoppers are still experiencing. Shortages are affecting everything from paper products to cleaning supplies to food items. Just recently, the makers of the marshmallow treat Peeps announced it will not have Halloween or Christmas versions because the plant had to temporarily close in April. Well, it's not unprecedented, but it's pr unprecedented for our times. Shoppers are not the only ones having a hard time. Tarantino Foods in Buffalo is a wholesale food distributor with 2,000 customers, such as restaurants, colleges, and pizzerias. When we visited, the company president showed us a list of his hard-to-get items. Those included French fries, cheese, frozen bread, ketchup, macaroni and cheese, Kraft Ranch dressing, McCormick spices, and packets of hot sauce, just to name a few. You had Amdor Man for Campbell Soup, for frozen vegetables, for anything that was imaginable in a supermarket that people were going to stay home and stockpile. To meet the huge supermarket demand, many food manufacturers have stopped making less profitable items. Pasta is a good example. But your orecchetti, your ditalini, your tubatini, things like that, they just stopped manufacturing. The number of flavored drinks is also greatly scaled back. IBC root beer. Haven't been able to get IBC root beer in three weeks. In part because there is a real shortage of packages packaging materials. They don't have bottles, they don't have bottle caps, they don't have the cellophane, they don't have the bags, the pre-printed bags. While lake farmers are planning to increase production, they're scheduling for more eggs to come on board. Uh, I hope they have enough packaging material to package them and get them out to everybody. Fires on the west coast are making things worse as citrus, lettuce and broccoli cannot be picked. They can't work in the in the smoke filled environments. The advice for shoppers from Tarantino Foods is to take advantage of our local harvest season that can save you money. So if you can stock up on local tomatoes, local corn, local squashes, uh, all those things are plentiful right now. And plan ahead because things could become more challenging, especially as people begin to stock up for the holidays. Freeze can do what you can to stack your pantries, stack your basements, stack your refrigerators, stack your freezers. So how long will this situation last? Well, the folks here at Tarantino Foods believe it could go on until there is a vaccine that makes people feel more comfortable about going back to work and going shopping. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.